Hello and welcome back to All Service Now Learning. This is Silvana and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to use a UI policy to make a field visible to only a specific role so um, or to hide it from a specific role. So um, let's go ahead and hop into it. So what we're going to be doing is we will go into an incident and what I've done already is I have created um, a field um, so that is actually maybe I shouldn't have called the visible to admins only maybe um, it should be just hiding it from ITIL because in this specific scenario what we're going to be doing is hiding this specific um, field from the ITIL uh, role so in order to accomplish that um, we're on an incident table so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the additional actions and configure uh, ui policies and we're going to create a new ui policy and we will call it um, hi hide field from ITIL, okay? And then we will not apply any conditions um, to this, but uh, we will go ahead and uh, just base the condition based on the role. So we'll go over to script and run script. Uh, we will switch this to all, and um, this is the part well, we're going to be uh, entering in the information. So this specific um, execution will be uh, so execute if true. So if the user has the ITIL role, hide the specific field from the user. So I have already uh, pre-written the script to save the time. But I will go over it. So in this specific um, script here, we're going to identify that the user has the exact role as ITIL. And if this is the condition, if the user has the ITIL role, then use the specific field and set it to false. Otherwise, take the field and for anyone else, kind of like an ITIL, uh, uh, like an admin user, uh, will be able to see the field because it'll be set, set to the condition is going to be set to false. So let's go ahead and save this. And in this specific case, so what you would do is you would identify the role here and you would put your field name right here. So if we go, this one says you visible to admins only. That's the name of my field right here, visible to admins only. And since I am an admin, I will be able to see it. But if I go in and I impersonate an ITIL user, and if I go to the incident and the specific incident, the field is not visible. So what happens is um, as soon as the uh, condition runs, the UI policy runs, it identifies, oh, this specific user is an ITIL user and that field does not become visible. So for your, uh, depending on your case scenario, this is one way of doing this and hiding it from a specific role. And as, as you can tell in my script I have identified that the G uh, underscore user has role exactly ITIL so you want to go ahead and use this to identify the specific role um, and um, this can apply to any and you can use ACLs in order to do this or but this is just an easy 
one of the ways on how this can be accomplished. So hope this helps. Helps um, if you have any um, suggestions or anything that you would like to see, please mention it uh, in the comments, and uh, please don't don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.